Welcome to Nashville, Tennessee, Music City, USA, and home to the Commodores of Vanderbilt, who hope today they will hit all of the right notes. And boy, do we have a fun one ahead. Top 10 team, target on their back, going on their road and right into the snake pit. As we'll see, the number six team in the country, the Alabama Crimson Tide, taking on another SEC rival, the Vanderbilt Commodores. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. The Commodores will get us started with the opening kickoff. On the move from inside is five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. So Alabama's offense will take the first swing of the game. And as this star running back comes onto the field, everybody in the stadium knows he's going to get it. The defense knows it. Doing something about it is quite a different thing. It's hard to stop him. He's hard to handle because he can do it in so many ways. He can run by you. He can run through. Just finds that little crevice, and he's still up. Oh, I thought he was taking that all the way, but they stop him at the seven. This guy strikes fears into the hearts of every defensive coordinator, David, with that speed. If you give this guy any open grass, man, he's gone. It's just silly. Look at the angles, people trying to catch him, but he's got so much juice, he can outrun those angles and make enormous plays. Alabama comes to the line with a first and goal. Back to pass. It's Milrow. He wants it all. Can't make the grab as he was going for six right there. You simply don't see that very often. A quarterback of this guy's caliber missing a guy wide open in the end zone. He makes those throws in his sleep. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Running back looking for the end zone to the left. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. It's looking like they're going to have to try to throw this one into the end zone here on third down, David. Quarterback's got to be careful. Can't get greedy because you know these windows, they close fast. Extremely tight windows. Find your big body guys that you know can win in contested situations here on third down. On third and goal, they'll try to throw it in. Pulls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. What a nice job by the offense. First drive of the game, they matriculate it down the field, put themselves in a goal-to-go situation on third down. It's not going to be easy throwing it, but they win the matchup. Accurate throw, and they get paid it. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish things off with an eight-yard toss for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Returner will field it and try to get some field position. And the coverage team able to make the tackle. So Vanderbilt, this offense headed onto the field. Our first look at them today. Offense set on first down. On the run, it's Alexander. Not a lot of room there. Give him a couple to the 16. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. From the gun, running back on the move. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And that seemed a little off from the start, didn't it? 
That was a big time play, and it was off from the start because of the play he made. And I don't think it would have mattered who was playing running back. There was absolutely nowhere to go. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. Got it in the middle, it's Stowers. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. You know, one of the areas that separate good offensive coordinators from great ones is how efficient their offenses are on third down passing plays. That was the perfect call at the perfect time and obviously executed well. And the Commodores have it with a first and ten. Back to pass, it's Pavia. That was an eyelash away from being picked off, and that is not the way to set the tone with a near pick on your opening drive. Oh, and on defense, you just got to be able to finish that play. That defender had the football in his hands. He's just got to catch it. That should have been an interception. Last incompletion leaves them still sitting at their own 25 with second and 10. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. And oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. Good job by the receiver there not to run into coverage, but to find a spot that the quarterback could throw him the ball. Yeah, on those types of routes, Reese, they say if you're looking, you're booking. So if that's man coverage, the receiver's staring at the quarterback all the way across the field. That time, the receiver didn't give the quarterback his eyes, so they were on the same page. They both knew it was zone, and they executed that perfectly. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. Man, who says you can't run up the middle anymore, right? Everybody thinks, I got to make big plays. I got to go way out to the left, way out to the right, way out in space. Nope, right down the middle. Nice blocking. How about the running back? You could tell the speed, the wheels, does a great job getting down the field, making a huge rushing play. Fights off a defender. And you want to run the football. That's okay. You'll take some of these. But if they start to add up down the road, obviously, you might want to think about airing it out a little bit. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Out of the gun, the give to the back. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Eighth play of the drive coming. It'll be a third and six. Looking for a man. It's Pavia. Gets it out quickly. Third down conversions are huge, and they've got one, and they're at the 35. That's really got to make this offensive coordinator feel good calling plays. You get a completion on third down early in the game, and he should be having a lot of confidence now moving forward in this game calling plays. Now on first and 10 from the 35. They'll put the tight end in motion. Off the play fake on first down. Extending the play. He's going to be able to pick up a few yards before the slide. You know, QBs want to make those big plays. They want to, they want to put up the big stats. But when nothing's there, sometimes you just tuck the ball, get a minimal gain. I like the slide, by the way, too. Get down and don't take a big hit. And the offense about to dial up its 10th play of this drive. He's going to pass on second down. Just too much juice on that one as he airmails his receiver out of bounds. Third and short from the 28. Let's see if this is four down territory or if they just pick up the first here. They'll try to get it through the air. Can't find the man, and he'll be knocked down at the 40. Well, that defender just was better in his one-on-one -on, -one on the pass rush. He does a great job beating the offensive lineman to get to the QB. Commodores will bring the punt team onto the field. He ought to be able to use this first punt to pin him deep. And
and just a spectacular punt. It'll go out of bounds inside the five-yard line and really put this offense in a hole. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. That'll be a beneficial run as he creates some breathing room and gets it up to the 13-yard line. Nine-yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. Dropping back, it's Milrow. Got him downfield. All kinds of room to the right. The 20. And the defense couldn't corral him, and he took it all the way. Touchdown time. Defense has to be better on the back end. They knew this offense was going to come out, and they were going to challenge them. They were going to try to push the ball vertically down the field. They've now given up two touchdown passes in this game. They have got to shore up their play in the back half. Getting set for the point the after. Is on for the extra point. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. Aggressive play calling on that drive. Just two plays, they get the long touchdown pass to pay it off. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. He'll start the return inside his five. And the coverage team gets the returner on the ground. Vanderbilt has the ball again, and here comes that Commodore offense. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. Just flying through the air like a superhero to make the grab. Man, I, I love those guys that are willing to put their body on the line. And he does it right here, man. Just lays out. That ball's coming in. You can see it from several yards out, making that play, laying out, keeping the football from touching the turf. Great concentration, great effort by the receiver. They move the tight end all over. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. Cross the 30 to the 35, and that's a gain of six. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. Great pickup as they'll keep this drive moving, and they've got it at the 45. Yeah, I tell you what. When you start a game in the first quarter and you show me I will run my quarterback like you did here, it makes me defend the whole field. It makes me a lot more nervous. You can tell this quarterback will be a threat throughout this football game. Give to the back. Just ran over it. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Now they're going to throw it. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Looking to throw, it's Pavia. Throws to the wideout. A strike downfield. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. 
Now a fourth down. Number 29 on to kick it away. How about these two running games so far? Dominance on the ground as we look at the first quarter stats. Just about ready to get things started here in the second. We'll see if they continue to flex that muscle. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Make sure that there's not going to be a return on this one. Ball's out of bounds, and I think they'll mark it right around the 25. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Finds his way ahead for three out to the 27-yard line. The 27-yard line brings up second down. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Pressure coming. And he was drilled just as he released the pass and did complete. Well, I know that one fell incomplete, but what a day this guy's had throwing the football. Multiple touchdowns, and he's done a really nice job with his decision-making. Hasn't thrown any picks, which has really helped keep this offense on schedule. Third down conversions, always a huge stat. They've got a third and long from the 27. From the gun, wants to pass. Gets open down the middle. And they'll pick up the first down and mark it at the 47. Defense is about learning the plays. Third down, what do they like to do? How do they do it? So far, the offense having a little bit of success, but the defense now, you got to figure out what they're doing. The Tide with the first and 10. The give to the back. Makes his man miss. Big play for this offense as they get it to the 32. They're going to keep feeding this guy the football, guys. Over 100 yards rushing with that last carry now. We knew coming into this game today, they had to get the running game going. They had to be able to turn around, hand it off, and get positive yards and set themselves up into manageable third down situations. And we've seen them at any area of the field so far in this one have success in the running game. They'll keep that up until this defense proves they can stop it. Defense there to stop him after a gain of three, but he is inside the 30 to the 29. Got three on first down at second and seven. Grabbed behind the line, it's Bernard. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. My goodness, this offense has got it rolling. They might put up a 50-burger. This defense, they don't have any answers right now. They're going to have to figure something out. Just inside the red zone, first and 10 from the 19. Trying to run, it's Haynes. Pushing ahead, a tough run, picks up four, it's down at the 15. Well, this offense came into the game knowing they wanted to be physical, they wanted to establish the line of scrimmage, and they're running downhill right at this defense, and they're churning out positive yardage early. Solid pickup of four on first down, it's second and six. Pulls it on the bootleg fake. Unloads to the wideout. He's got it! They make the tackle just outside the end zone, but it'll be first and goal from the one. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. Wide receiver shows motion with the run on first and goal. Touchdown, Alabama! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. Number 22 in the end zone.
Lining up for the PAT. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. So it's a 77-yard touchdown drive, and they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And no chance at a return. Here they'll start this drive at their own 25. Vanderbilt has it back and heading out to go on the attack. They've got nothing done so far, and they already find themselves in a three-possession hole, Jesse. Yeah, and as a head coach, you're wondering, what didn't I say? What didn't I do to get my team ready to go? Because we look like we're sleepwalking at this point, Dave. Yeah, nothing went well in the first quarter. You just say refresh. Like, let's try to find a way now, chip into this lead, try to make it somewhat manageable when you get to the half. To the air, it's Pavia. He'll throw it. He's got the tight end. He steps out of bounds, but he's got it up for a first down. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. I think a big part of this for young quarterbacks out there is if you're going to be throwing into zone coverage, you got to throw on time. You can't stare down receivers because the entire defense has their eyes on you, so you can't telegraph where the ball's going. You've got to hold it to the very last possible second. Try to freeze defenders with your eyes and then throw the ball into open areas of the field, anticipating where your guy's going to be. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. And the Commodores moving quickly to the line. Now the play fake. Fires to the wide out. Finds a man on the left. They just gashed the defense on that one. They've got it down to the 23. When you're going to run a comeback route, you've got to sell like you're going deep. And that was a great job there by the receiver, really making that corner think he was running deep down the field. So he got the corner to turn his hips, turn his shoulders, and then the receiver was able to just pivot around to make it an easy pass and catch. Comes out throwing on first down. Getting some heat. And a little too much adrenaline on that throw never gave his receiver a chance. That's a good decision by the quarterback. I know that's not going to come up on the stat sheet, but you're in the pocket, nobody's open. Don't risk turning it over. Just throw it away. That last incompletion leaves him with second and 10 from the 23. Running back goes in motion. The play action fake. Throws toward the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown doors! Big time touchdown there to get some much needed momentum. You gotta find something, right? Who are you gonna go to to make that big play to get you back into it? You're not back in it yet. It's not, it's not tied. You're not there yet, but you're starting to inch back into it and get some momentum going. He'll try to tack on one more. And after the extra point, they're now down 21 to 7. So that was a six play, 75 yard drive. And they finish it off with a touchdown toss from the 23. They've got it down to a two touchdown deficit, trailing by 14 and about to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The tied offense rolls onto the field. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they've wanted to do. Build the lead. Now Palmer's a different animal. Now you got to protect it. You can tell they were paying attention in practice this week in the film room because they have gone out, everybody right now, on the same page. After picking up a couple at second and eight. They'll run it from the gun. 
stopped at the 25 after a five-yard gain. And, you know, when we talk about great third-down defense, it really starts with them getting stops on first and second. You've got to get those stops early in the drives to set up third and long, so that's a missed opportunity on that second down by this defense. So they're facing third and short from the 25. Looking to move the chains, they throw it complete to the left. And with that effort, they pick up a fresh set of downs. They have it at the 34-yard line. Defenses throughout the week study every third down situation. You've got to be ready for what they do, how they do it, and then be able to adjust. Great job by the offense so far having success. Alabama comes to the line with first and 10. And off from the shotgun. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. Second five. Brings up second down. We've reached the two-minute warning, and they will try to build on what has already been a dominant first-half performance. Line getting set on second down. Back to throw, it's Milrow. Got the quick pass. They'll get him down, but not before he crosses the 50. He's down to the 49. This offense is clicking, and clearly everything is working. The offensive coordinator is calling good plays. The quarterback and his unit is executing. And this defense right now, they have no answers. They'll have it at the 49, just across midfield, first and 10. He's looking to throw it. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. We're only in the first half already. This guy's got two TD passes. So you can see the defensive coaching staff on the sideline telling this D-line, guys, we got to get after this guy. We have to affect his rhythm and not let him be so comfortable back there. Right there, they were able to get after him. Let's see if they can keep it up. The first down sack pushes the ball back for this long second down. Sends it downfield. Makes the catch at the 20. They make the stop, but not before he sets them up with a first and goal from the 10. I would love to sit here and tell you that was the greatest play call ever, and the offensive coordinator is a genius. I think that was some really bad defense. This offense has been running wild in the first half, but wait, they want more before they go to the locker room. Looking to buy time. And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. The offense wastes no time getting the timeout call. Quarterback just has to be more aware of the situation. First down, goal to go situation. You cannot take a sack. So the QB, if no one's open, you got to make sure you're throwing that ball out of the end zone and helping your offense out. Got his man quickly. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. That throw and catch, a really good example of why coaches don't want a quarterback to get stuck on a particular target, isn't it, Dave? Yep, that's exactly right. Find the guy who's open, because you got so many guys that have so much speed that can do so much damage on the field. Find my matchup, get it to him, let him do the rest. Makes the catch! And they'll get him down inside the five of this offense, powering court to score. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. So they are denied a touchdown on this drive, but they'll try to put up a three spot before the break. And this will be a short one from about 21 yards out. That thing would have hit a string in the middle of the uprights. Perfect. And they'll push that lead out a little further.
So they get the late field goal right before the half and not much time after this kickoff for an answer. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. He'll be brought down and that's the final play of the half. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, a stirring start to things today in Nashville as we say hello from our broadcast studios. Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at First Bank Stadium. See if he can make a play on the return. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Vanderbilt has the ball again, and here comes that Commodore offense. When you're facing a deficit like this one to start the second half, you really can't afford to waste a single possession. Fresh start here in the second half. That's the only way you can look at this if you're on offense. Things did not go your way there in the first half. It starts with one play. To get our confidence going, we just got to get something going early here on this drive. One play, stay aggressive. Now, now I think I can be even more aggressive on fourth downs because I, I, obviously I've built a deficit. My defense has got to make some plays for me too. On the option. Now the pitch. Nifty run there. Pick up of six out to the 25. The Commodores want to crank the tempo. To throw. It's Pavia. Throws to the wideout. He makes a catch. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep him from getting the first down. I love the job the quarterback does surveying the defense there. Great job pre-snap recognition, understanding the coverage. He goes to his curl route, gets the completion, and picks up the first. And the Commodores will snap it on first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there for his second down. Well, that's just a great play by the defender and great timing. It was the hit that forced that incompletion. And after the incompletion on first down, this offense looking at second down. Was the pass. He finds his man. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. And this offense just has to find a way to convert this third down or else they are really in trouble. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Might be looking to run. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. Oh, it's just so frustrating on the defense. I mean, you got, you got great initial coverage. You understand third and short. The ball might come out fast. And then what does the quarterback do? Scrambles around, buys time, gets the first down pretty easily. Now you got a new fresh set of downs and a new fresh set of problems. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. Guys at the backfield now, it's not just run the ball downhill anymore. You gotta be first though. I gotta be able to trust you in the pass game, and I gotta be able to throw you the football. And you can do that right there. I know you're gonna catch it, and I can depend on you. Got eight on first down. Now looking at a second and two. Right back to the well. The Commodores brought to the ground, but not before picking up the first. 
Well, they needed two yards for that first down. The running back doing just enough to make sure he keeps this drive alive. Now on first down from the 40. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. They've been running it, but now the pass. Quickly complete. That's about as close as you can get to that marker, and it will be second and just a few breaths away from the first down. When you play zone coverage, everybody drops back. Everybody has eyes on the quarterbacks. You're not really looking at the wide receivers a lot of times, so they can slip in those little cracks, and the quarterback can really make precise throws. Great job, great play, great throw, great game. Off the play fake. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. The defense was obviously ready for that play. They've obviously been watching film. They know that that pass play is one of the bread and butter plays this offense has, so nice job defending. This is the type of play that decides games. Are you tough enough to convert third and short from the 30? They'll try to pick it up on the ground. Working their way closer and closer, a third down conversion, and they've got it at the 26. Basic run plays. I don't, I don't need a bunch of complicated stuff sometimes. I just need to get the first down and get the sticks moving. And the Commodores want to pick up the tempo. They're going to go right back to him on first down. <laughs> Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. They go to the ground. Able to make the stop after a gain of two to the 22. Let's see what they've dialed up on third and long from the 22. Looking to throw, it's Pavia. And that one is right on target if his target was the first row. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? And on fourth down, Number they'll try to salvage the drive with a field goal. Visualizing the right ball flight from 39 yards out in the right hatch. It's good, and that was dead solid perfect. defense will try to shut him down here he comes from inside his own five couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25 here comes that Alabama offense always good to get points on a drive David but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty and I think it's great to get points but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area you got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive you're absolutely right, David. Generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this drive. Able to run it out to the 28 on first down. Now it's second and seven. They'll run play action. Tight end finds a soft spot. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Every good quarterback is first a game manager. At Alabama, that used to be sort of a, a label of derision, but now they're not only that, they're playmakers. Yeah, and it's what they used to ask them to do. Like, like they were very comfortable handing the ball off, running the ball, controlling the clock, you know, trying to keep your defense fresh. Nah, bro, 
If you can't score points now, if you can't get first downs and go get me touchdowns, you're not going to be on the field. He is knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And the defense is going to have to have more plays like this. He has had a ball game so far, running wild all day long. The defense finally comes up with a stop. Maybe get a little momentum here. Over 100 yards already in this game. So if I'm on defense here, I'm adding more guys to the box, anticipating that they're going to continue to give this guy touches today. Oh, what a spectacular layout and catch. That's a really nice job plucking that pass. I don't know if another school has done as good a job as Alabama in recent years as bringing in top-level talent at the wide receiver position. When you think of guys like Julio Jones, Mari Cooper, Jerry Judy, Devontae Smith, this guy, he looks like he could be on the field with all those guys, too. He's got speed. He's got the ability to pluck the football out of the air. What a big-time weapon. How nice is it to play quarterback with this guy? Second down coming up. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. The run from the shotgun. Tough run in this part of the field. He's got four down to the 23. It's the M.O. of this offense, and they really put a lot on the offensive line to go out and really try and establish their dominance and their assertiveness, and they've done a good job of that early in this game, running the football. Here they come, up to the 23-yard line, not thinking field goal, wanting to convert this third and short. Grabs it in the middle. And he couldn't quite get to the marker, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. I mean, good news here, they get the completion. Bad news, though, not enough to pick up the first down. The target there, he's got to do a better job understanding where the first down marker is, make sure he gets the right depth on his route. Now, all of a sudden, head coach has a big decision to make. Smashes it between the uprights. And now the lead is even bigger. That means the score on Alabama. 10. Wants to throw. It's Pavia. Snags it over the middle. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. That's a good job by the drag route there, understanding its zone coverage. So instead of continuing to run across the field, he settles down into an open spot, making it easy for his quarterback. These are the types of plays where offenses impose their will. Third and short from the 45. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. He's got it. 
He got it loose, almost housed it, finally dragged down at the 32. And Jesse, there's a huge mountain to climb here, but you might as well start with a chunk play. Well, you got to start somewhere, Reese. It's been tough going for this offense all game long. They find themselves in a hole, but I love the aggressive nature. Keep taking shots, keep trying to claw your way back into this one. To the air on first down. Fires left. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. At this point of the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. Offense gets set for second down. They want to just keep throwing it. Right on target this time. Now he's got it all the way down to the 21-yard line, and they are threatening on first down. And after giving up that completion, guys, I wonder if the defense is going to decide to stay in zone or maybe mix things up, a little more man coverage, maybe blitz. The Commodores will snap it on first and 10. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Brought down after a pickup of two to the 19. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Scanning the field, it's Pavia. Feeling some heat. That pressure got to him and he just had to chuck it out of bounds. After the second down misfire, looking at a third and eight. From the gun, wants to pass. On the run, still looking. He is brought down, but man, what a job to find some running room and move the chains. Sometimes these guys just have eyes in the back of their head. You saw it right there. He was able to buy himself time, get outside the pocket, and at that point, I think the decision was pretty easy. Hey, I can go get this with my feet. He was able to do that. Now they got a fresh set of downs. It's first down from the 11. Leaves it with the back. Relentless, tough running. Gets it down to the four. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. They'll leave it with him. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Wants to throw on third down. They're bringing heat. A little floater there that falls incomplete. Another hit on the quarterback. All day long, this defense has been able to pin their ears back and get after this guy. And because of that, he's never gotten into a rhythm throwing the football. And that's why they find themselves trailing here late in the fourth quarter. It would take a miracle to get back in this game. But any miracle will have to start with this fourth down conversion. Looking to scramble. Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. It's going to be tough on this defense containing this guy because he's got that sixth sense to get outside the pocket, and at that point, he's thrown it and hurting you, or you can take off and run. That time, able to get the first down. Big challenge for the defense moving forward. And the Commodores are threatening on first and goal. Back to throw. It's Pavia. Pocket starts to collapse. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. 
awesome job by the defense. Not only getting the fast quarterback on the ground, but understanding what he wants to do. He can take off. I got to make sure I got good pursuit angles, and I got to make sure I build rails. I can't let him outside. I got to keep him in the pocket. He tries to get outside. They get the sack and get the huge loss on that play. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He's looking to throw. And this defense has maxed out this pressure. Another sack. The offense right now is moving in the wrong direction. They weren't able to get a touchdown on that first down play. Now giving up a negative play on second down. You better be very careful about this third down play call. And they'll come to the line trying to take a slice out of this lead on third and goal. Fullback's got it. And a really short game before he gets a whole bunch of company from the defense. And decision time coming for this offense. How about the defense? They've hung in there, Palmer, made him earn it all the way down. Now, are you going to go for it on fourth down? Yeah, you know, after running so many plays offensively on the drive, I know it'd be disappointing to only walk away with a field goal, but you'd feel even worse if you went for a touchdown and didn't get it. I think you kick it right here. Fires deep toward the end zone. And they can't make the connection on fourth down, and they'll turn it over. Offense getting set for first down. They keep it on the ground. Clock is their friend. And that's a live ball. Oh, looks as if the defense got it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. As a defender, you dream about those big hits. You work hard on it in practice, closing space, getting close, and just sticking that guy and causing the fall. Vanderbilt has the ball again, and here comes that Commodore offense. They've got it back after that last drive stalled out, and they were stopped on fourth down, David. Yeah, and they put a little bit of a drive together for Jesse. They stalled on the other side of the field, and they got to find a way to keep that momentum going as they get closer to the end zone. I agree. I, I do like their mindset, though, and I think they need to continue being aggressive moving forward in this game. After the incompletion, looking at second down. Looking for a man. It's Pavia. And it's incomplete. It was wild high and wide on that one. And as a quarterback, you've got to be able to take advantage of the situation. You were given the ball in tremendous field position. You've thrown two straight incompletions. You can't squander this opportunity. You need a big play here. Third play of the drive, and they need to take advantage of this field position by making something happen on third and long. Give to the running back. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. At the 13 yard line. Offense facing fourth down. Down by multiple possessions. They can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Dances away to buy time. They got him. It's a sack, and what a stop for this defense to turn it over on down. He had nowhere to go with the football. You could tell surveying the field, somebody's got to get open to go make a play. Man, throw it up. Run it. Do something. You can't take a sack on fourth down. you got to give somebody an opportunity to make a play for you. They'll get things started on this drive from the 24. Goes to the option. And now on the pitch, the ball's loose. Man, and this is why you practice five points of pressure with the football. You cannot put the ball on the ground. It doesn't matter how many defenders are around you or how hard you get hit. You cannot turn the football over and expect to win games. So now they'll try to mitigate that disaster on second down from the 15. Hand off from the gun. Nowhere to run on that when he loses four on the carry. Well, the 
defense finally able to make a play, getting a tackle for loss. They haven't had many of those today because this running back really has answered the bell. They knew coming in they were going to have to give him the football, force speed it to him, and let him go to work. He's done that. Well over 100 yards rushing in this game. The defense just has not had the answers consistently for him. From the gun, they'll try the middle. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Alabama will bring the punt team on the field. First time we've seen their punt team this afternoon. Fields the punt and tries to find an opening. The coverage team was down there to corral him. They made the stop and they'll mark it at the 39. Vanderbilt has it back and heading out to go on the attack. Just a short pass to the tight end. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. They say tight ends are a quarterback's best friend in the pass game because think about it. The tight end's the guy lined up closest to the quarterback, which means generally... Those are the easiest throws a quarterback has. You saw it on that play. After the first down completion, it's second and short. Looking to pass, it's Pavia. And they can't connect, but the flag flies, and I think this is going to be pass interference. Defense, defense, defense. And the defender just way too handsy on that last play. You could see all the contact as the ball was in the air. You simply can't do it, and the referee's caught it. They've got the play bottled up. Fumble, it's out! How in the world did the offense retain possession? That ball carrier is very lucky. That easily could have ended up in the hands of the defense. You have got to do a better job of ball security. Clock is still running, and they have to get everybody lined up. On second down, wants to throw it. Didn't have much of a choice there but to get rid of it. Now facing a third and long. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. Every defense in the country talks about getting offenses in predictable third and long situations where I can bring on more speedsters, and I know the pass is coming so I can have more success. They've only converted one time in three fourth down attempts, but they'll try to move the sticks. And that ball is picked off. Going the other way, and he's got room. He's at the 40. The 20. Touchdown, Bama! A great return for the touchdown. Any return for a touchdown is a great one to a defense. Game is essentially over right now, and you wonder if it's really necessary to jack up the score like this. It might not be necessary, but I won't be forgotten. I can tell you that because coaches, they don't forget things like this. Late in games, you want to run the score up, get that extra touchdown. I'll get the chance in the future to do this back to you. I like it. Just keep it in the back of your mind. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Number 14, set to kick this one away. On the run from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The offense set for a first down play. To the air, it's Pavia. Trying to get to it. They get him down after the scramble, but he's able to pick up a few and turn it into a positive play. 
They'll get the timeout with five seconds remaining to play. One more play to pad the stats. On second down, he'll let it fly. Coming after it. And that pass will be incomplete, and time has run out on this game. 